I'll try to make this as comprehensive a video as possible on what's the difference between the Flowmaster 40 series, the original 40 series, and the Flowmaster 50 series Delta. So, like I shown in a vi previous video that'll be linked down below, um, driving down the highway at 70 miles an hour, you're sitting 95 decibels inside the cabin, which is, you know, a deafening. Try to get a really good idea of what's the difference between the two mufflers and get that video out to you guys so you can make an informed decision when you're trying to decide which muffler you want to go with for your car or truck or whatever. All right, guys. Cruising at 55 miles an hour. And last but not least, there's our idle. All right, guys, at four yards away from the back of the car, it's at about 94 decibels. At two yards. At eight yards away, we're still sitting at 90 decibels. Okay guys, the Flowmasters are here. Now, I'll overlay a picture on the screen, but you can see here the welds. Um, you've got two chambers here, one here and one here, and then an empty space in the middle. And these are the two Heimholtz resonance chambers, and they're designed to kill that interior drone that is going on inside your car. I bought a different muffler clamp. Instead of crushing your pipes together here, this is just gonna slip over, slip over that one and then over your pipe coming in and uh, just simply pull them together snug so that you don't have to crimp. And that makes, you know, whenever next time you have to take your exhaust off or whatever, you don't have to fight with it to try to get it apart. Like you're getting ready to see me do over here. The difference in size between the 40 and the 50 series. So the 50 series is about three and three quarter inches longer. Let's get the other one off. The pipe's not gonna go any further into the muffler than here. As you can see, we got a reduction there. So, we're gonna to have to cut the pipe right there at three and three quarter inches. That's exactly how much longer the 50 series is than the 40s. Like I said before, nothing can ever be easy. When pulling exhaust apart, I was gonna go ahead and uh, readjust my H pipe, get it up a little higher. Well, of course, this stud, uh, it's been giving me problems and now I know why. There's actually a dent right here, if you can see it or not. It's actually dented in right there just a little bit and that's causing me to have to over tighten it on this stud and I suspect that's why I keep having trouble with it. So I was able to drill this hole in it while it was still in the car but I, I couldn't get anything in there to do anything with it. So at this point we had to go ahead and pull the header off and uh, see if we can't just go ahead and get this bolt out of there and be done with it. All right guys you saw me struggling. I finally got those daggum things out. So the one side, here's what I ended up with. That's the one bolt. <laughs> I did have some new studs ready to go back in. So those are the 12 millimeter by 1.75 threads in these holes. So that was the studs that I bought. So you saw I used a variety of tools, I used drills, punch, taps. When I heated that one bolt, it actually hardened the bolt. If you don't have any of these, go to Harbor Freight and get a set of these. I think they're called masonry bits and they're actually carbide bits. And you can see I kind of destroyed that small one, but they'll cut right through that hardened bolt. No problem. You'll eat it right up. So uh, that's definitely a good purchase. I mean, it was like 10 bucks for the whole set and those are carbide bits and they'll cut right through that hardened steel. Ideally, I would have liked to have mounted this thing to the milling machine here, but I just don't have the vertical height on this machine to be able to get this face here perfectly level with the top. That's why I did it all by hand. Now I'm gonna see if I can't clean up this edge just a little bit where it's kind of dented in. I don't know if you can see it. I think that's part of my leak issues that I've been having. All right there, I think I got all the dents out of it. Looks nice and straight now. So I'll put that stud back in it, put it back in and see if it'll seal. I don't know if any of you have ever bought these offset clamps from Summit, 
So it's designed to fit the lap joint there where one pipe fits inside the other. So this will be the small side, this will be the large side. I mean, I'm having a lot of issues with it um, being enough to fit. It does have a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe it's a little deeper right there up to that point. I can't get to even get the bolt started on the, on the side where the muffler is. So I'm gonna cut it down on the milling machine here and sum it if you're watching. These clamps, they need a little more work uh, in the design room before you sell any more of them because yeah, they don't fit. Alright guys, there it all is. Flow Master 50s. They're right much longer now. These come almost all the way back to your floor pans there, as you can see. Okay, here's the first fire with the Flow Master 50s. into a problem with your exhaust sealing up like I am uh, I talked to a mechanic friend of mine Brian and he said just run a little bead of that high temp silicone around it you know let it dry for 20 minutes or so stick it up there uh, gently tighten it till it starts squeezing out around the sides and then uh, the directions say wait 10 hours and then go back in and finish tightening it up and I went ahead and did that on both sides and hopefully this will fix my exhaust leak okay guys the 50 series mufflers are installed and we're going to do our interior decibel level test right now. We'll start with an idle test. Windows up. 55 miles an hour. Okay guys, my final thoughts on the Flowmaster 50 Series Delta. They seem to reduce the interior noise by about 8 to 10 decibels. Exterior seems to be about 10 decibels all the way around. Now idling down the driveway, it does seem to be a little quieter and, and my neighbors say that you know the car just really doesn't sound as good as it did with the old 40 Series on there. 
when I got on it on the road, he said it sounded just the same. He said just the same as it did before. What we can take from this is the three chamber mufflers are suppressing that low end rumble or whatever that seems to reverberate inside the car. At wide open throttle, it's pretty much just about as loud as it was before with the 40 series mufflers on there. So all in all, I am very pleased with this change. Um, I can drive the car now without getting a headache or wearing hearing protection. It was to the point where it was so loud, I just couldn't enjoy driving the car. You could not have a conversation with the person in the passenger seat. It was horrible. So this was definitely a big improvement over the 40 series mufflers as far as interior sound goes. Idling with the uh, 50 series mufflers, to me it sounds like the cam is a little more pronounced. So I, I like the way it sounds with these 50 series mufflers. I am overall very pleased with, with my purchase. They were a little hard to install, but you know, what is it? So all in all, I give this two thumbs up. If you're looking to reduce the exhaust interior noise on your vehicle, then this is definitely the way to go. This definitely achieves that. At wide open throttle, it's still loud and obnoxious, but maybe not quite as much as it was with the 40 series mufflers. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you got something useful out of this video, and we'll see you next time.